What's up guys, it's Mike from Job Ready English here with another video to help you get hired. Today we're doing a past the interview video for BDO. We're going to talk about five fast facts about BDO, what you can expect from the application process. This all comes from our research note that we put together from publicly available sources from people who've been through the process in the last six months. And if you want that research note plus free video courses and free ebooks, which have over 100 sample answers and worksheets to help you prepare the perfect interview script and get prepared for your upcoming BDO video interview, then check out the BDO Pass the Interview Pack in the description below. Then we're going to talk about the most common questions that we saw come up in candidates' reports and also other questions that we found interesting and I'll talk through each of those questions and how to think about answering them in order for you to pass the video interview. And you can join hundreds of people who've already passed their interviews based upon watching our videos. So let's get started with five fast facts about BDO which you can use in your interview answer for why do you want to work for BDO. Fact number one, BDO was founded in 1963 and was originally known as the Binder Seedman International Group. Fact number two, BDO has a clear purpose which they call our why and they aim to help make anyone's dreams possible. Fact number three, BDO is truly global, operating in over 160 countries with almost 100,000 staff. Fact number four, in every country that BDO operates, it does its utmost to help communities within there, and I always recommend looking into a company's corporate social responsibility projects and what they're doing in terms of charitable giving. And fact number five, BDO was ranked number six in the top 20 professional services firms in the world. So let's talk about interview format and what you can expect. This comes from the research that we put in for every video. We produce a research note, which you can find in our past the interview pack. And we look at publicly available sources and we only use information that we believe is reasonably, as much as anything can be on the internet, trustworthy and reliable and comes from the past six months and no older. So generally the whole process from submitting an application form to getting a job takes about two months to complete. You'll be asked to complete a numerical online test and an SJT test. You'll then be invited to a video interview where you'll be asked seven questions. You'll be given about two minutes to answer each question. And for the assessment center, there are four tasks, which is a group discussion, a presentation, a written assessment, and a final interview. So that's what you can expect from the whole process from BDO. Of course, we tend to concentrate on the UK. I know that we have viewers from all around the world and we do do our very best to give you the form of information which we believe is most helpful, but of course, there will be deviations because BDO is quite large. So let's talk about most common questions. We picked out six and how to think about answering. Question number one, why BDO? Why do you want to be, work for BDO? So a good way to think about this is really simple. Just pick out six facts about the company. If you want to know what facts, it's simple. You couldn't say those facts about another company. So not, it's a big professional services firm or it's a really reputable company or it's a global organization. It could be about their revenue, their projects, their clients, their charitable work, their corporate social responsibility projects. And if you can, try not to just read them out like you're reading a shopping list. You really want to be reading them out and sort of at least relating to one or two of them. So it could be their charitable giving. It could be their diversity projects. It could be something to do with a recent client that they've worked for or a giving endeavor that they have. Try and inject a little bit of your personality into this answer. If you're wondering about a good script length, I tend to find 100 words a minute is about right. So 100 words, 200 words for a script. Generally, you want to do less if you can. And even better, you can put them on some cue cards if you check out the 60 minute interview preparation course, which is in the past the interview pack, I talk about the best way to prepare, the best way to kind of go from having, being fully scripted to hopefully being able to speak without or with a minimum of notes. Question number two, why this role? Now this is a two part question. I want you to think about what would I do and explaining that, because that clearly shows your understanding of what you're going to be doing. 
And then the second part is, why am I good for this role? Now, generally people den tend to just concentrate on the second part of the question. So they'll basically be talking about, well, you know, I'm good at this, and I'm good at that, and so on and so forth. Now you can use the job description, so you can take out, what would I do? And that's the first part of the question. And what skills do I have? Well, that's also in the job description. If you find that BDO's job description isn't that helpful, then you can just look for a similar position in a different company that's more helpful. So say, for example, you're applying for gradual audit, you could go and look for another company for gradual audit because you're going to be doing the same thing, right? And that's a great way to answer that question. If you're wondering, why do I need to talk about what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do. I'm applying for your job because in the video interview, when they're passing it through whatever video interview software it's going through, whether it be HireVue, Modern Hire, Sonru, they're going to be looking for particular keywords and they're going to be looking for candidates that understand what they're going to do. Because of course, we've all applied for jobs and just gone, eh, I can't even remember, I've applied for like 15 jobs today. Question number three, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team. Now BDO, just like any MNC or multinational corporation, involves a lot of teamwork. Generally professional services companies, it tends to be really diverse. You work on a wide range of clients and projects and you tend to move from team to team to team. You can have a three day engagement, a two week engagement, a two month engagement, but it's really important that you're able to work as part of a team. Now, ideally, when dealing with a competency question, you want to use the star format. If you're not sure how to use the star format or how to hack the star format, then check out the past the interview pack down in the description below. Star Tan stands for star, star, star stands for situation, task, action, result. What were you doing? What's the details? What action did you take and what result did you achieve? So basically what this means is when we're using Star is you're going to want to pick something out ideally from work, if not from volunteering or extracurricular activities. And then what you're going to want to do is you need to describe what made you good in terms of working as a team. Did you communicate? Did you listen? Did you do your work? Did you resolve conflict? Did you try and help other people? There are many different skills for teamwork. I tend to not go through them because to be honest, all you need to do is just Google teamwork skills and pick out four or five skills and include them in your answer. Question number four, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Now, this is quite a hard question to answer in two minutes. I would pick one strength, one weakness. If you pick a strength, pick something from the skills list from the job description and provide some proof. So I'm highly numerate because I study a maths degree. I'm really good at teamwork because I'm captain of the football team and so on and so forth. For your weakness, which is something that a lot of people struggle with, it's simple. I would tend to say, pick a weakness that's true but not serious. For example, one of my biggest weaknesses is that at times I can be a bit disorganized. So what I tend to do is, is I tend to delegate to other members of my team, I tend to diarize and I tend to batch. So for example, today you may notice that I'll be wearing the same t-shirt in the next couple of videos that I release because I batch film once a fortnight. So that's what I find is really easy and manageable and capable. The important thing is every weakness can be turned around if there is a lesson that is learned, there is a new strategy that is put into place that allows me to improve on that weakness. Question number five, tell me about a time when you had to multitask. We all multitask, I multitask, you multitask, whether you're at school, at work, whatever you're doing, we need to have that ability to do multiple things on a day rather than in a given moment. So a good way to look at this is just think, well, what's a time when I had to do two, three, maybe four things? I would pick more than that. Sometimes people will list out like seven different tasks that they had to do, and they can't really communicate effectively about doing all those tasks. A good one tends to be studying for exams, doing a part-time job, and maybe having an issue in a personal life, right? And about how you balance those three things. By issue, it might be like seeing your friends or your significant other, something like that. So really just laying out well, how did you get organized? How did you manage your time effectively? And so on and so forth. And this tends to be a really easy way to answer this question and show that you're able to balance multiple priorities and still meet your deadline. 
Question number six, how would you deal with a difficult situation? Now for me, a difficult situation is one where I expect the result to be negative or to be uncomfortable. A difficult situation could be a difficult client, difficult customer, a deadline that I've missed, a piece of feedback that I'm not looking forward to receiving, or learning a new skill that is quite uncomfortable because I have to start by being bad before I get good. One thing I would say about this is make it difficult, like make it understandably difficult for your audience rather than like, oh, I was running late and then I wasn't late. You'd be surprised how many times people answer that question. So it might be like, I submitted an essay and I failed. That was quite difficult for me. It's not something that I've been through before, but I really took on board the feedback. I actioned the changes that were outlined and I managed to get a pass for that module. So here are five other questions that we came across. I always tend to run through really fast and just give you my thoughts about them. How would you approach developing new ideas? So this is like new innovative solutions. Um, one thing I tend to find that's really good for me for developing new ideas is just research, asking for help, listening to people, trying to be open-minded and not become sort of having a fixed mindset about how to do things. What skills do you have for this role? Easy. Check out the job description, make a list of those skills, and then outline the skill. When have you effectively worked under pressure? We've all had to do that. For most students, it's generally exam deadlines. And this all comes down to effective planning, time management, organization, discipline, and focus. The last two I throw in there, so it's the discipline to do the work, and it's the focus to concentrate on the work once you're doing that, to work deeply and to remove other distractions. What motivated you to apply for this role? So this is another really a derivative of why do you want to work for this company? Why do you want to work, do this role? And tell me about yourself. Um, this is the personal introduction. What are you doing now? What have you done before? What do you want to do in the future? Work experience, extra, extracurricular skills and activities, and then skills and interests. If you haven't already watched our video about this, pop in, tell me about yourself, JRE, and you'll find our video plus our free worksheet, which is really useful in breaking this question down. Guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, Drop us a comment down below. Let us know how your BDO video interview went. Why are you watching this video right now? Was it helpful? And we will see you next time. Good luck for your interview. Bye.